tests all right so uh, if you purchased my book the ingredient diet I talk a little bit about other diet programs but let's talk about the diets that we have right now or, we, or we've had over the last four decades so the most common one of course the number one is calorie restriction all right now if we were all being honest with ourselves calorie restriction has not worked for the vast majority of people who go on this program one it doesn't work metabolically because when you restrict calories to such a low point you can you also reduce your set point of eating so when you go back to eating normally you're going to gain back all the weight uh, the other diet system is paleo caveman style atkins high protein all of those are uh, also sort of passe diets now they've had their moment in the sun and so forth and people now realize that they don't work all right <laughs> that's essentially it they don't work right so they're still out there there are tons of paleo foods out there they pee and the reason they don't work is and i'm going to be brutally honest is one they bung up our digestion bung up is a very english phrase so bung up means it's very hard to digest a whole bunch of protein we have a very long intestine system intestinal system right so protein takes a long time to break down in the body and if you're only eating exclusively protein then you, the digestive behaviors in the body are going to be slowed down and um, it's not really a healthy form of eating long term so that's paleo the other one is uh, weight watchers okay uh, it's now on a point system it used to be on a calorie system but over the course of the uh, the um, uh, decades it has changed to a point system so um, this is the most laughable program of all and I hate to say it if you're successful on Weight Watchers good for you keep it up those people who are successful on Weight Watchers are a very small percentage of the people who sign up so at the beginning of the year when Weight Watchers does its um, uh, marketing blast it reaches a wide spectrum of people thousands and thousands and thousands of people worldwide but Weight Watchers doesn't give you statistics and they can do this of the r ratio of people who actually uh, become successful, all right? So of those thousands of people who sign up and stay on the program for six weeks, only a handful in relationship to this large quantity um, will actually stay on the program for a number of years all right so it's not it's really not a lifestyle adjustment for the majority of people who started and many people who have been on weight watchers have been on it several times so they've had some level of success and every year they keep going back to it or every other year or something when they get frustrated they go back to it which is the same sort of secular pattern of behavior because in reality they're only going to be on it 8 to 12 weeks and then they're going to go back to regular eating all right so when they tell you that it's a point system what they're telling what they're actually telling you is it's a calorie reduction system that has been changed to a point system so it's the same thing all right the other program uh, is the ones that produce prepared foods all right prepared foods tons of programs that make the meals for you deliver them to your door you get the meals they're awfully expensive because if you went to the grocery shop or cooked the keto way you would save a lot more money all right and you'd reach your results a lot faster so um the thing that i have an issue with personally this is my beef is that those prepackaged foods are made with ingredients that you don't know anything about all right they put them together there are hundreds of ingredients that go into one recipe and um, you don't know where those ingredients are made um, the quality of those ingredients etc etc all right all you know is the meals that you have to eat are low calorie that's pretty much the gist of it they're giving you a calorie controlled diet by providing you with a set number of foods to eat every day so that's so that's that so now I'm also going to talk about vegetarianism shakes 
cleanses, all of those things. So I'm going to bundle those all together because they're the same thing. All right. So um, they're all a form of calorie reduction. Even if you become a vegetarian or vegan, what you're doing is you're eliminating fats from the body, which is absolutely con contrary to um, the saturated fats, excuse me, contrary to keto. All right. So um, if you're doing a greens or shakes program, again, you're just reducing your calorie intake by eating greens. And the unfortunate thing about these shake programs is you can't sustain them because it's not enough variety and people get bored. We as humans have a higher intellect, all right? And we have that intellect has to be stimulated. And so if we're having shakes every day, three times a day, whatever, at, at some point the intellect's going to get bored with that, all right? It wants variety. And that's the problem psychologically with those types of programs. Veganism, vegetarianism, it works for certain people's people. So like I said, when I started this talk, it's, um, it's certain people that will respond to eating in a keto lifestyle and a keto way. So I'm going to stop there because I went over my time and I just wanted to just give everybody a focus of whatever program they're going to choose. There's, you have so many options. Just whatever you do this year, this time is something that you can do for a long time. So six months to a year and longer. This is what the goal is. You don't want something that you're going to get bored of unconsciously uh, within three months. All right because unconsciously something's going to trigger and then you're going to go back to eating the way that you did. And that's not going to be biologically safe for your body. All right. So that's me. If you have comments, let me know. Be kind with your comments, please. I can't help everybody. I'm here just to do my thing. And um, I hope I can help some people, which is my goal. So thank you, keto friends. And I'll see you on the next recipe. Bye. So uh, one last request I would ask of you is to subscribe if you haven't done so uh, before and to uh, mark a positive response, a thumbs up for the video. That's always very helpful. Thank you very much again and I'll see you on the next recipe.